What's up everyone? Corey Parks here with Hydro Help 911. Uh, wanted to show y'all another uh, tip around your house. Um, something that we come across from time to time. It's not, it don't happen a lot, but uh, it does happen and uh, getting it fixed can be tricky. Stay tuned. Let, me, let us show you what we got. All right, guys, we're here in Bessemer City, North Carolina, doing a, uh, a cross space inspection uh, for a realtor. Um, just wanted to show y'all something that we run across from time to time. This is actually, let me step back here and I'll show y'all what we're dealing with here. This is actually a covered carport. It's got a roof on it. Uh, hadn't rained here in, I'd say two days, and we still have water up against the house here. And some of y'all may say, oh, well, that's just a small water puddle, not, not a big deal. Well, the problem is, is that water's got to go somewhere and it goes that way. It goes under the house, uh, soaks in through the block, through the concrete, through the mortar, um, and it goes under the house. Uh, I know a lot of times people want to try to caulk that joint that runs all the way down through there where the concrete slab and the brick meet. Um, it's not gonna work. Uh, it may stop it for a day, chances are it's not. Um, some people want to put mortar or hydraulic cement. Uh, it's not going to stop it. The thing is, is when it comes to this, you've got to either stop the water completely from getting to this point, or you've got to control it once it gets in so that it does not cause wood rot, um, and which in this case it is, uh, or mold, which in this case it also is. Um, and, and again, this, the, the something that may look so simple, uh, for this case, uh, and, and it's more than just this one spot, it's all around this house, but you're looking at forty to $80,000 worth of repairs for this house. Um, this is something that they probably didn't know about and that they're going to have to fix uh, before, they're going to have to fix it before they get this house sold. Unfortunately, they're already past their due diligence time and they're um, set to go to closing within a week. And this is going to throw a big, big wrench uh, into the game here for them. So your options are control it when you get it inside the crawl space. Um, or stop it before it ever gets to that point. Um, most of the time, this is not a DIY kind of thing. This is something you need to seek a professional, somebody who can warranty, guarantee it. Um, but uh, just wanted to point that out. Take a look around your house. Just because it's a covered carport, such as in this case, does not always mean that uh, you're not going to have water issues under it. Again, think about this when you're pouring concrete, guys. Your concrete, um, your concrete companies who, who are pouring these slabs for you and stuff, especially smaller ones, um, they don't care. Their job is concrete. Their job is not drainage. It's not water management. Their job is to pour the concrete, be as efficient as possible, make it look as good as possible, give you a good price, a good deal, and get out of there. Um, unfortunately, what I typically see is, is it causes issues down the road. So um, check it out. Look around your house. Look for signs and symptoms of uh, drainage issues. Uh, if you got any questions, shoot us a text. Um, send us a message on Facebook, whatever you need to do. We'll do a video for you. We'll answer your question. If you don't want us to do a video, however you want to do, however you want us to do it. Um, 704-813-9554. Uh, you check us out online at hydrohelp911.com or look us up on Facebook or go subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more of these videos and hopefully, um, we can help y'all out in the future, uh, avoid some of these costly mistakes. Y'all have a good day.